Greetings, everyone. This is Stirring It Up with Chef B and Friends. I'm here at Kimmy Fresh, and we are here today with Kevin McGee of the Natural Life Festival. Awesome, yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. Today, we are going to be talking about Family Vegan, which is Kevin's brand, and then we're also going to be talking about the Natural Life Festival, which is coming up, and so why you need to be there. Right? Today, we're also going to be preparing uh, close to oil-free, a little bit of oil, but close to oil-free fried rice, vegan fried rice, and then we'll also be making your purple, my signature purple, the purple drink. Ooh, okay, the purple. The, the purple. The purple. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're gonna go on ahead and get started. All right, so tell them a little bit about you, sir, because a good friend of mine told me about yes, you, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I love the work that you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, my name is Kevin McGee. I've been in Atlanta for 30 years. What? So uh, Long time. I claim Atlanta. I've been here most of my life. Definitely claim Atlanta. Came here to go to college. I had a great time. Left my wife here, decided to stay here, raise the family. So fast forward uh, several years, got involved in the hospitality industry, the culinary industry for many years. So about 20 years, I operated restaurants. I'm an executive chef, did a lot of things. Burned the candle on both ends. You know, working in hospitality has been very, very busy. So uh, I kind of took a retirement from that in 2010. Spent more time with my family, raised my daughter, have two daughters. Yes. And so uh, I figured if I wasn't in their life, they weren't going to be in my life a little later on. So I had to make that decision to spend some time with them. So I started doing some other things. And uh, I think back in 2015, my family had a very uh, intimate experience with what I'd say cancer. So my oldest daughter, who was 12 at the time, was just kind of all of a sudden diagnosed with cancer. I spent about two days. What? Two days, yeah. And it was crazy because we were already pretty healthy. I've always been primarily vegan uh, for the last four or five years. And so we just kind of like, you know, what? Right. You know, WTF, right? Right, so what's going what on? The, right, right. What the, so what, what kind of cancer? So it was called Wilms tumor. So Wilms tumor is a type of cancer that there is no test for. It's totally undetectable. What? Uh, it's not related to diet. It's not hereditary. It's, it's not like a, rare. It's just very, very rare. Oh, very rare. Right. And typically, how it's typically found is they're usually looking for something else or someone maybe has a stomach problem or something yeah. they can make fine for tumors. So uh, my daughter was at a doctor doing a visit and they noticed something and three days later she went to surgery. So uh, yeah, so uh, fast forward she's doing awesome. Was she able were you able to or, or yeah. the doctor was able to remove the tumor yes, completely? Yeah. Yeah. So the tumor came out it was like three and a half pounds. Oh wow so I would I'm serious. Football, and my daughter is very slim, very slim, wow. very slim. So very interesting experience, very interesting journey for her and our family. So I think, you know, for us to really kind of push this in the direction of making sure that we are mindful about not only what we put in our bodies, but what we put on our bodies, That's we right. in our minds, the thoughts and the yeah. kind of germinate yeah. in our minds. So we started the Family Vegan. I love it. Which, I love that yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. It's an online brand. Check it out at Go Family Vegan. Uh, we give you free meal plans, videos, information yeah. on how to cook. And then also, you mentioned the Natural Life Festival. Which yeah. Is and I asked him for my shirt. I'm going to get merch, my shirt. The, right? the, the, merch, merch, yeah, the merch, the merch is yet. coming. It's okay. on the press. It's, still, it's hot. It's hot on the Because I like that shirt. It's going to be hot on the press. I'm excited. And you're going to be one of our guests there. I'm going to be well. one of the guests. Yes. Awesome, awesome, yes. awesome. Yes. awesome yes. Yes. So we started the Natural Life Festival, again, to kind of bring awareness to the community about the types of things that they can use right. on their skin yeah. and in their bodies to really make them more healthy. It's also appropriate. We're at EV Fresh. Yeah. Uh, they specialize right in, in everything botanical and making sure that you're putting the right things on your skin yeah. and in your hair. And so that's really big. So the festival is going to be August 31st. Yes. Historic Fourth Ward Park. Yeah. Uh, we're expecting about a thousand people out there. The vendors are full, the speakers are full. And so we're looking forward to having a great time educating people about how to live their natural life. And what's the, what's the time of the festival? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Labor Day weekend, so you, you got Monday off. Man, weekend. let me tell you, there's so much oh, happening yeah, Labor Day weekend. Is, we're gonna do oh, a tour. So. You can do everything you do all of it. You can do our ministry. Really can. Our ministry okay. also. So you can go support some other people and stop by. And then stop by. Stop by. Take over and then have to worry about parking. All right, yeah, I love so check that. Check us out, yeah. Yeah. Get But there. I'll be there, so y'all need to come out. And, you know, we'll definitely keep reminding you about it. Because we have what, two weeks. Two weeks. We're about two Just weeks two away. Weeks. Yeah. So this is perfect. Yeah. All right, so I'm actually going to turn this skillet on at right, this time. We're going to get cooking. And 
Look at that. Should 200 or you want it to be a little bit on the higher side? A little bit hot. We want it hot. We can start at 200 and when we finish cooking, we'll turn it up. Okay, that sounds good. Fried rice better be hot. I know. I know. So 250, I'll do that. Now, let me say this. You know, fried rice is one of those favorites. It's, it's become a comfort food here in the U.S. Of course, origins are in the East. And you've seen, I'm sure you've seen people who have their own versions of fried rice, right? Because, you know, when you're dealing with the traditional fried rice, a lot of times it's made with white rice. And the white rice isn't necessarily the best for you because it metabolizes into the body of sugar, raises your glucose level, it just does a lot of different things. And so you can have these wonderful flavors and you want to make sure that you're being mindful about right, what we're choosing as the car. And so I noticed that you are using something different. So let's talk a little bit about so, uh, that. So, so this is uh, yes. called Japonica rice. Ooh, Japonica. Japonica rice. Also, Ooh. we call it black rice. Yeah. Some cultures call it forbidden rice. If you're yeah. in the yeah. forbidden yeah. rice. The yeah. reason they call it forbidden rice is that the story is there was an emperor, and this was his prized rice. Mm. And no one had the opportunity to have the right. rice. Only so him. Only him. <laughs> he could only have a healthy rice. So it was Terrible. forbidden for, for everyone else. And so this is a black rice, a very, yes. good rice, very healthy rice, an ancient rice type of rice. And we actually did a show on this rice okay. uh, some time ago, actually a year ago. We did a, we did a um, uh, cook up rice. Okay. And where I'm from, rice is the main it's event, it's yeah. a staple, like yeah. in most cultures, right? Yeah. But this black rice was used as a substitute instead of the white. Yep. And y'all, if you don't know about black rice, you really want to bring this into your diet. It's high in antioxidants. It's actually really good for people who have um, blood sugar issues. So if you're diabetic, this is an excellent rice for you. Um, it does not raise your blood sugar very high. Very, very powerful rice. And you can get it anywhere. You can get it anywhere. Make sure it's organic, right? Um, or you can get it online. Exactly. All right, so we have our black rice, yeah. man. Y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah. So we black have this rice. off to the side, and yeah. then now what else have we done? Uh, do you need me to do? Well, well, if you want to, uh, I got an extra knife over here. Yeah. Well, I got, I got my knife. Yeah, sure this is my knife. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're this right is mine. You're a little smaller than mine. Ooh, you got one like this. I got one like this. Yeah, this one. This is my Wooster. I got one too. This, you got a Wooster? Yeah, I got. I got a circle. I got. A, I got a collection. I got. I got. Yes, I got a Wooster. Uh, but I like this one. This one uh, uh, like my. my yes, like yes one. I like the way it feels. Exactly. So, right, uh, so uh, what should we do? Maybe just dice up those red peppers. Yes. Yes. We're just gonna start chopping the So we got some red peppers. She's gonna dice up there. Yes. I'm gonna cut up this carrot real quick. So let me ask you this in regards to the family vegan. So tell us a little bit about what people can find when they go to the yes. site and you know what kinds of things are out there. Yeah, so if you go to familyvegan or uh, thefamilyvegan.com, you'll be able to sign up and you automatically get a free 14 day meal plan and we'll share with you. Uh, you'll get kind of ongoing information, ongoing videos, different things that we're doing. Excellent. You can also show us some bok choy. That is beautiful yeah. baby bok choy. Look at that, y'all. So pretty. It has a lot of fragrance and flavor. You'll also get information about upcoming events. We do about four or five pop ups a year. Oh, nice. So you can get an invitation to those. Yeah. So we just want to get plugged into the community. And then uh, we just uh, give y'all the information you need to. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, and I love that because one of the things that people ask me all the time is, how do you, how do you like your children eating this way? And I'm like, of course they are. They're eating this way. The little one, you know, he doesn't know any other way to be. My oldest, he definitely transitioned, right? And so, you know, sometimes that is a shift. But what I try to do is educate my boys why we're doing this. We're not just Nazi-ish about it. Right? You're not just mean about it. We're not mean about it. And you know, I mean, ultimately, I do, I, I give them some leeway, you know, some, but because I don't really want them to. You don't want to push away from it. I don't want to push, push away from it. Exactly. But, you know, we be labeled and we talk about, you know, different things that is you know, coming up in the food. And so my oldest, I think, is very conscious. Um, he fights it sometimes. He's very, very conscious about what's going into his life. Yeah. I, I think with my children, it's the same way with my daughters. You know, we can't 
you can't be with them all the time. They right. go to school, they right. do whatever they want to do, right? Because they're not with you. But I think the thing is that you plant that seed, and at some point, right. you know, they will kind of come back and be exactly you know, what's best for them. That's the most the body, important so. thing. Just yeah, to you gotta get plant the seed. Yeah, yeah. Information. All right, so this is getting hot. What should we put in here? So we're gonna put a little bit of oil just in there. Just a little bit. So yeah. So and it's just for flavor. This is just right because so it's so that it's toasted, toasted nutty. Toasted. So you want us to fill this up? Yeah, that's fine. Just like a little bit, teaspoon. right? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna just put in just like not not even a tablespoon, just a teaspoon. Y'all, I've been talking to you guys about reducing the amount of oil that you put in your food. Now, you know I love my essential oils, but that's different. When we're talking about reducing oil, we're talking about things like the sesame oil and the olive yep. oil, the avocado oil, because it has a lot of saturated fat. Yep. It's a oil, but sometimes you can overdo it, and you really don't need to use a lot of it, all right? So we have the oil in here. It's already bubbling away. Right. And then we have our shiitake. Real nice and fine. A little faster here so you get everything in there while the skillet's hot. Mm -hmm. I love it. And the thing I love about fried rice is that it doesn't really matter what you put in it. Yes. You know, any type of vegetables. If you have leftover veggies, if you have some veggies that you know, kind of close to going to get old or get yep. bad, you can chop them up, put them in there. Yep. And it's true. It's, 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 it's perfect. And, and it, it crosses all cultures, yep. too. It does. It does. And it's good. And it's quick. So we've been talking about maybe five, ten minutes, and it's going to be ready in a second. Yeah, I love this. And I love that you prepped the rice. Um, prior. Yeah, you definitely have to prep the rice, let it refrigerate overnight, mm -hmm. and all possible. Yep. Now, I, I shot my zucchini a little different than him, but that's okay. We have, we have textures, we have shapes, we got... And, and, and that makes it interesting. You know, oh, like, yeah. you know, a lot of different textures, a lot of oh, yeah. different shapes. That looks good. You know, one of the things when people eat it, you cut your veggies the same way all the time. And they don't taste the same way all the that's time. That's true. You know? That's a good point. I love that. So now we have the spring onions that we're going to add, which I love. Notice, you know, when you're doing a lot of Asian cuisine, you use a lot of, like, sort of soft, Mild flavors, onion flavors. Yeah. Yeah. And so the great thing is we're just going to stir this Yeah, let's put that in there. So we're going to add this up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just put water in the back. Add a little bit of water. So first we're going to, can I go ahead and drop these in there? Oh, yeah, go ahead. We're going to drop in some spring onions. Yeah, let's yeah, this not yet. Not yet. We're just going to let those saute in there. And the thing about the fried rice is that you can really put all the veggies in at one time. You don't have to wait and it cooks up. Yeah, that looks good. And we really just sort of put it at the, the bottom of the pan. That's it. That's all we do. Very, very nice. Very, very light. Very, very light. All right. So and now then. we're going to pop in the veggies. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I wish you can see this. And smell it. Smell a vision. So we'll, we'll, so we can concentrate yeah, on the so, steam yes. one. And actually, y'all, that is a, a wonderful sort of tool. So you can, hack. like the hack, right? They call it the hack, right? So if you are one of those people, you know, your doctor told you you need to stay away from the oil because you're hyper, like you really have hyperlipidemia, you know, high cholesterol, that's another name for it, um, hyperlipidemia. Then what you can do is you can basically use water or broth to start your, your, your pots. Right, we, you know, when train, oh, you start a dish with a little oil, onions, garlic. But you don't really need to do all of that. What you do is you just add a little bit of water, a little bit of broth, and then basically the, the vegetables, they're gonna steam and they're gonna start to release their own natural little oils. Just what it needs, exactly. Break down. Break down the way they break down, and then boom, you don't even know the difference. One of the things I tell people is don't be afraid. Home. <laughs> uh, if I don't do non-stick, I can use a really good cast iron stick, mm -hmm. which 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 will be non-stick. Non right. Non exactly. Yeah. So if you get a good hot skill and you put the veggies in there, they'll get a little char. Yeah. Yeah. They get them and then they'll break down. After. Yes. So, yes, indeed. Yeah. 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 And they smell that sesame, that nuttiness of yeah. sesame. I love it. Yeah. I'm gonna smell some that. We haven't had anything else. No, we haven't done anything. anything. I mean, this is very light, y'all. Very lovely. Beautiful. All right, y'all. And so the other thing that we want to say is, like, you know, when you're adding different
different flavors, particularly when you're doing fried rice, because you want to be not go out the soda. So I know this, I brought mine just because I was sure, <laughs> and then I saw yours, I was like, I'm on the same, we're the same, same page. page. Yeah. But you have these coconut aminos, yeah. so these are two actual different brands of the same thing. So you have coconut aminos, three ingredients, yeah. right? It's a wonderful soy substitute, right? Yeah. We, so, we try not to, the same thing in my house, yeah. I mean, we use salt very sparingly. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we might use a pinch of Himalayan salt, yeah. or so just a pinch yeah. on that, but it's usually either the couple of you know, yeah. we may do some rags or something like that, but it's very, very light. You kind of let the food. Yeah, let it, exactly. And so then exactly. start bringing the herbs. I use yeah. my essential oils because yeah. that actually adds some beautiful flavor. And you're going to top some of those off at the end. I'm excited to like, see, <laughs> see what you're going to throw in yes. there. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. now you can see they're pretty much cooked pretty well. Yes. Yeah, this is really good. Cool. So really, you know, we don't want to overcook the veggies, right? We want it to have that vibrant color. And really sort of like it's like a pop. Like a pop. Exactly. So now we're going to add the black rice and the pot of the rice to that. Yes. It's so lovely. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. So, do we want to add this in now? Two more seconds. Yeah. I'm all excited. I'm all excited. Yeah, do you want to call on me? So, a little splash, right? Little splash, little splash. So, let's just we'll fill this up. Because you're going to add some flavor. I'm going to add a little bit more flavor. So, yeah, look, we just fill this up. Just drop the frame. Hear that? Yeah, it's kind of steamy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. We got that. Here we go. Get it. Right. So we have actually two essential oils that I want to add in here. So cilantro. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna bring some herbs. Same thing. So I'm gonna do. This one's really powerful. Okay, just look, just look, just look. Yeah, do that. I'm excited myself. I've never had essential oil in my fried rice. Really? I have not. You know, basil. Love basil. Yeah. And so I use these, you know, in place of the actual fresh herbs. And then also what I do is I use them because they're, they're concentrated. And sometimes I use the oils together along with the fresh. Yeah. Because it just helps it. Just give me that boom. Yeah. Now I wish I had my, my ginger, but I use it so much. So, right. It's done. It's all gone. So we're gonna let all it right. just let it steam. You can actually turn it off. Yeah. Just, just let it steam. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Man, so I'm gonna turn it to one. Yeah. So that took. Look at that, y'all. So the prep would be the rice. The rice. But you know, you can really set rice and forget it. And you know, for those of you who aren't right. sure how to make rice, I don't know how you do it. What's your ratio? If it's if it's if it's japonica rice, if it's a really good rice, it's two to one, and you want to cook it about about thirty to forty minutes. See, I good tell y'all that too, y'all. Yeah, two to one. It's good rice now. That, that, <laughs> that, 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 we don't use sixty that. second rice. Whatever we don't that, use that. that is. We don't use none of that. If it takes less than twenty minutes to cook your rice, you should be eating. Yeah, rice, you should be like eating that. that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we don't use that kind of rice, y'all. Two to one is the ratio. And you will get rice perfect every time. And you know, right? People, a lot of people are scared of rice, but rice is really easy to cook. Yeah. Once you cook it, yeah. put some of the water out, you turn it off, and it'll just stay. And then it's, it's that's it. it. Quinoa is the you can cook quinoa the same exact. I'll give you one tip. This one half the rice. I bought okay, rice cooker. Oh, you did. I didn't buy rice cooker. I'm old school. Yeah. I do everything inside of a pressure cooker. I burn stuff. I, I, I burn. Well, I burn stuff yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Rice cooker. But if, you, if you're not, if you're not a, a, a old school, like should get your rice. Your stainless steel rice cooker. <laughs> Oh, okay, Stay, yes. they got and then it get all sticky and yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right, yeah. so this is good. You want to do smooth enough? You want to taste the rice? Yeah, please. Let's taste. Let's go. I think I'll taste you. Mmm. 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 That's so easy. Taste the cilantro. That's dope. Ooh. Oh man, I I that was love this. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just like two splashes. That was splash. you know that? Yeah. All right, so we got our rice. We'll right. get some folks to taste. You want to taste? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yes, you can taste. All right. Tell us what you think. Again, very light. 
very flavorful. And you can add your own things too. So I've, I've done things where I've done the rice, I've added some fresh oil juice. Mm -hmm. Kind of sweeten up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Lime, fresh lime juice is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All those flavors I love. Mm -hmm. Right? What's my favorite? There you go. <laughs> right, so you you don't want to eat a whole bowl of it. Right? Isn't that good? I mean, we didn't use a lot of anything, y'all. And you know, once again, we want to really celebrate our veggies. That have so much wonderful flavor. Right, 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 right. Yeah, there you go. Well, like you holding the sample. <laughs> oh, there you go. She, so she, she, she looks so beautiful. There you go. She does. There you go. All right. Maybe next year. Oh, yeah. I asked Chef Eat, what's your. Oh, it's going to be Bell Family. We're filming. Bye. All right. This so. Is, this, is, this is how you know it's real. This is how you good. know it's real. This is real. Yes, time. it is, y'all. All right. So tell me what y'all think. Is it good? I'm about to eat this whole thing. It's just light, right? Very good. Simple. Simple. And we can really just that. celebrate in the flavor. Right? Yeah. You taste that beautiful. Yeah, it's basically like, boom, mm -hmm. and then the cilantro, boom. Mm -hmm. oh, cilantro, cilantro's in there. Now, if I had my ginger essential oil, I ran out, we would actually be using that, but it would be really nice. Do you want some, too? Okay. He's like, of course I want some. Let's get him another Yeah, let's get him All right, so now the next dish that we're going to make, y'all, is the perk. Right, so after you eat that rice, <laughs> Your throat's a little dry. You the want to you want something. Uh, now, come, this is my patented smoothie drink that I do pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. Every day? Every day. So is this like a man drink? Well, it's it, it is for me, but it's good for everybody. So okay, there's good. nothing in it that, okay. that, that isn't you know you know gonna hurt anybody or hurt more or whatever. But I call it that perk. You know, a lot of people take, perk. take take a purple pill, they take a blue ah, pill. Ah, yes. Take, you know, they take some type of pill, but we don't want you to have to take any pills. Got you. We just want you to but actually, them. look at them. They're like little pills in themselves, right? They're little pills, right? exactly. pills in themselves. Healthy, healthy pills. So yes. All right. what we have in here is about two cups of wild blueberries, frozen. Yep. Uh, any type of blueberry, you can get organic, obviously, it's great. You could also use fresh if you want to. Yeah. I like mine a little, a little cool. So this is a drink I do. Pretty much every day. Blueberries, obviously, a lot of antioxidants, yeah. a lot of good vitamins and minerals, very good. So we're going to add to that blueberries. We're going to have to pass with coconut water. Yeah. Coconut oh, water. Lovely. It's you know you could use almond milk if you wanted rice milk, but if you have any allergies, I find that coconut water is really really good. Yeah. So we're going to add roughly around three yeah. or four cups of coconut. Water. Yeah, it's so funny. My husband he makes a smoothie as well. He has, you know, I think that's probably like a very simple, easy it is, dish for, it is, for the brothers. It is. It is. It's quick. Cool. It's very, very quick. Cool. All right. So, so we, we got, got that. coconut water. Obviously, electrolytes all those things. Sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. About two tablespoons of those. Yeah. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Those are really good. Folate. Which is really good. Yes. Really good for the prostate. Oh, yeah. Uh, then we have carrot powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is where we get to the get to the man stuff. The man stuff. <laughs> it's good for anybody, but right. particularly good for men. Ashwagandha. Oh yes. So that's a, yes. Ashwagandha is very good, and this is also still be a thyroid. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. For men, it's good. Uh, also kind of produce a little more testosterone, and then flaxseed. Ooh, meal. the meal. Okay. Yeah, flaxseed so. meal is good for testosterone as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna add just a little bit of honey. Yes. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And that's it. That's your that's your perk. That's it. That's my right. perk. So, so just make sure to just tighten. And then visit, right? Visit. Yeah. 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 Ye
You got it? Taste. Let's see what you think. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Ooh, good. Hey, be careful now. Drink. You're going to be, be on careful. 10 all day. Yeah. It's going to be on 10. Let me taste. That part is good, man. Oh, my. This is so lovely. Mm. Mm. I love it. Yeah. What about me? If you want it a little sweeter, you can do a little bit more, but it's good right now. And you know, I love smoothies because you can just really crunch your cream mm -hmm. too. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get some of those out to some people yeah. in here. I very, very nice. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. So that's my daily regimen. That's perfect right there. You could put different things in there if you wanted to. You put different types of things in there. You could put a little ginger. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll do it with fresh turmeric root. Yeah. Yeah. I would put a little bit of um, like a milk, a cashew milk. Yeah, cashew milk. Mm -hmm. You know, make it kind of creamy. Creamy, yeah. yeah. Or even a banana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Camera man, you're going to get some. Just hold on a second. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wrap up. Thank you so much for coming out. Appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you, Chef. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Look forward to seeing what you're going to cook for us. Yes. Oh, you'll be awesome. August 31st. August 31st. Chef B's going to be in the house. Chef B in the house, 4th Ward Park. 4th Ward Park from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Come on out. Yes. Come on out. 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 Come on out.